I uh, welcome. So today I want to talk about our recent work, boson sampling for drain rice bosons. And uh, I'm Andre Go. And uh, this work is done by Ijashi, Dominic Hennider, Andrea Green King, and uh, my advisor, Mohammad Hafizi. And uh, this is the archive number. And uh, this work is sponsored by University of Maryland, and the Joint Quantum Institute, and the Joint Center for Quantum Information and Computer Science. Okay, so let me talk about motivation. So why is boson sampling and why it is important? And uh, what are generalized bosons, generalized boson sampling? And uh, we will talk about a possible implementation. Okay, so let's talk about motivation. So we know that the uh, quantum supremacy definition is that some tasks are easier by using quantum computer than using classic computer. So how to define easier? Basically it's polynomial time versus exponential time. Okay, so the possible answer to this question is the boson sampling. This is what we're gonna to talk about in this uh, video. And uh, basically using the non-interrelating bosons, the standard boson sampling, is developed by Aronson and Archibald in the 2011. So we know that our bosons are the, the only options because we know that uh, there are there are other kind of particle in the universe. So may other or other particle can play a sim, sim, similar role because uh, we will show that uh, we will show that uh, the ingredients in the boson sampling has uh, have these two functions. One is perfect, uh, permanence, one is Hafnian. Basically, they all come from combinatorics. Can we extend the notion of boson sampling to wider class of systems? Okay, so now let's talk about uh, permanence and versus uh, determinant. So uh, the permanent is defined to be uh, for two by two A, B, C, D, just A, D plus B, C. For determinant, A, D minus B, C. This is a like high school mathematics. And uh, so we know that determinant is a linear algebra in the easy to compute and uh, corresponding to volume spanning vectors. And uh, there is this a quick algorithm, Gaussian enumerations. It takes n cube time to, to compute a determinant. But for permanence, basically it's more uh, related to combinatorics. And it seems like we must compute n factorial. And uh, actually people already proved that uh, uh, permanent is sharply complete. So I mean, which means that uh, computing permanent is a very hard task. Okay, so now the next question is obvious that how permanent did appear in quantum mechanics. Okay, so let's consider a simple two mode boson, a uh, two mode photon. And the, uh, we start from, uh, uh, before the quantum circuit U, we start from the occupational uh, one Fox space, a uh, Fox state. And suppose we have the linear mode transformation U, which is described by this lambda. And uh, it means that uh, AI Dagger will transform respect to this uh, AJ Dagger. So we can just directly simple compute this uh, wave function after the circuit. Okay, so after a simple com com computation, where we get some term related to this one one and the uh, zero two and the uh, one one. So we get, okay, so this is, uh, so we get our two zero amplitude become this, which is exactly the permanence of uh, half of the permanence of lambda one, one and one, 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 two and one, two. And then now zero, two, which is two, one, two, 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 one, two, two. Okay, and the one, one is like one, 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 two, two, one, two, two. Okay, so you can see that permanent naturally show up in the, in our, uh, in the quantum mechanics. Okay, for a general case, let's suppose we have n by n, uh, n by n, Linear more mixing. Suppose our start uh, input state is L1 up to Lm, and the resulting state is K1 up to Km. And uh, one can prove that uh, the results for observation K for input L is corresponding to the permanent of this lambda bracket KL. Okay, so this lambda bracket KL is basically you take the you take K1 and the up to Km rows and the uh, Use them to form a large lambda as a previous uh, previous example. Okay, so results basically is that the exact and approximate boson sampling we call ABS are computational hard on average. Okay, so the, this is the precise version. Suppose our input states one 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 up to n and uh, up to zero, and uh, the rest are zeros. If m is a 
uh, o to the n to the five. Uh, it's the magnitude of n to the fifth power. And then the, this this uh, can prove that this is exactly. Uh, this is a very hard question based on some computational hardness assumption. Okay, the approximate version is basically output of probability. They are close to the original probability in the total variational distance. And uh, these are all proved by Aronson and Arkipov in the 2011. Okay, so let's talk about some more, uh, another another type of bonus sampling called the Gaussian bonus sampling. Okay, and then uh, with single more single mode version. So, so our input state is now is not a Fox space because Fox space is hard to hard to implement in an experiment. So we do the single mode squeezing for uh, M modes, and uh, we after more mixing and then we just do the we just do a sample. Okay. So our single mode squeezing will give give me uh, this S as matrices, and we can I can form a covariant matrices because it's the Gaussian states. And uh, so this is the after the linear mode transformation. This is our uh, this is our uh, covariant matrices, and after that we can compute a probability, and the probability will corresponding to some matrix function called Huffington. And then this A will uh, basically some function depends on the depends on the linear mode transformation and uh, also the original uh, squeezing operator, a uh, squeezing parameter. Okay, and uh, so photon ABS and GBS both difficult under some computational assumption. So re recap for the boson sampling, linear boson sampling, the probability basically is permanent square. And uh, for the Gaussian bonds and putting the results will be half in. Okay, so let's talk about uh, our work. Well, let me define a generalized bosons. So what's the definition of regular boson? Just recap. So for a generalized boson, we start from AI AJ dagger is delta IJ. Uh, uh, for regular bosons, we start from AI AJ dagger is delta IJ. But uh, we think that we we uh, discard this relation and only require that for different sites they must compute. For example, so that's using B as the that's using B as the creation and any any heliation for the generalized bosons. And compared to a regular boson, one can see that uh, we change the this the first relation to this one, where uh, there is a capital F. A functions and at least n i is basically the Fox state, the occupational number, and then, but we also we all, we also require that for different sites they must commute. Okay, so let's define this b dagger n zero to be f of n n. So f of n when f of n is a square root of n factorial, this will give you the standard regular boson. Okay, and uh, one can define also define the multi modes. So the capital F and capital F and the lowercase f are actually related. So if you are interested, you can go to check out uh, our paper. Okay, so let's talk about some examples of generalized bosons. So uh, we call this FON as a boson vector, which is completely determined by algebra. Okay, so let's uh, show some example. The first one is a standard boson. Sure, standard boson should be viewed as a generalized boson. And the boson pair, which is uh, in the, uh, showing a QED, which is B is A squared. And also spin S, spin S can be viewed as a boson. And also there is a high energy, there is a boson which come from high energy called a Q boson. And also there is a uh, some a quasi particle in the condensed matter called M per M per per boson, which is originally found in the ion cube. Okay, so the obvious question is what? Why is the generalized boson? Or well, if you what if we do the boson sampling on these generalized bosons, do they give you the same complexity and permanent function? And also, how about the Gaussian boson sample? This is the the natural question that uh, that one should and uh, one should ask. Okay, so the answer is yes and uh, yes, but under certain assumptions. Okay, so let's talk about our main results one, which we will prove in our paper. So, given a linear transformation, given a linear transformation lambda of m modes of generalized bosonic algebra on those modes of bosonic phase f. The probability of major on k uh, by Fox space L, L is given by the uh, the this expression. So you can see the results still depend on permanence, but some uh, different some functions uh, which depend on the boson effect. Okay, so simple conclusion: generalized boson can give you the same complexity. 
Let's talk about theorem two, which is Gaussian boron sampling. So given the boson in algebra and you take f of n, and then suppose we have a so-called Gaussian state of generalized bosons, then one can prove that uh, our results probability is still depends on half union. But now this matrix is A will have some coefficient which depend on different generalized bosons. Okay, so we already discussed the linear bone sampling and the uh, for generalized boson and also Gaussian bone sampling for generalized boson. So next we should talk about how to do the implementation. Okay, so we talk about it, but that's, let me just describe our uh, work of implementation of generalized linear bone sampling. And the least uh, experiment setting is, is inspired by the Perabedras and the Ozzy in 2017. So protocol is, the protocol for the original bone sampling is that uh, what version is that we start from bones, we start from regular regular boson and uh, there's a R matrices and then we cook up cook up this Hamiltonian and the where R is a unitary matrices and our initial states defined to be one to uh, all M. There's M modes of one called in states and uh, zero M called out states and uh, after pi over two. We evolve the state after pi over two, and one can show that uh, this will give you the same complexity as original bone sampling. And uh, in our paper, we show that uh, if you do the same protocol from for the Gauss for the generalized bone sampling, and we just change this A to B, and then this R is a still unitary matrices, and then we start from original state zero and the one to m and the zero to m out. And after pi over two, one can prove that prove that their probability a variational distance between two probabilities goes to zero as m goes to infinity. Okay, so that means uh, this will give you the uh, the same harness. Okay, so let's talk about uh, our examples. So our Scheme can be implemented on circuit QED and also on trap platforms. For circuit QED, our boson pair will just be equals x squared. And for ion trap, we can use the, the spin half to cook up the super spin. We just separate into input mode and output mode. This is for the cavity. This is for the ion trap. Okay, so let's talk about the conclusion. So we have proved that uh, in the generalized, in the general bonds. Okay, so let's talk about conclusion. So we have proved that in a general boson setting, we can still have permanent and half union, so complexity is still there. And one can show that the quantum supremacy is not just based on quantum optics, but more exotic bosons. So we also propose experiments by using spin and circuit QED. Okay, so let's talk about possible future work. So what about generalized boson in other area? non-Gaussian state complexity, right? Because we talk about Gaussian bone sampling, so one can ask uh, what's the complexity of non-Gaussian the non-Gaussian state. And uh, also there's a classification in the regular photon called the star rank. So one can investigate so-called star rank in the generalized bosons and a more counter supremacy task, which may be found in this kind of framework. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy our paper.